Hello, good morning. Happy Tune In Tuesday. You are tuning in with me, Kelly Bush, today. Um, and I want to start off uh, today's devotion with a question. What are you thinking about? <laughs> now, that is a rhetorical question. I'm not asking you to put them in the comments, unless you really want to. Um, but you don't have to. Uh, so yeah, what are you thinking about? Do you ever think about what you are thinking about? Or in other words, do you ever take inventory of your thoughts? <laughs> so this is a practice that I have learned. Um, so it's not something I come up with, but it is a practice that I learned from Joyce Myers. I read a book um, from hers called Battlefield of the Mind many years ago, and it was such an influence on my life. Um, I grew up with a family who you don't, the, well, what my parents always said and believed is they can't help what they're feeling. You, you can't help um, what you think. You're, you can't even help your actions, that you are not in control of your thoughts, your feelings, or actions. You just can't help it if you act out or speak out. Well, that is how it is. You can't control it. And then after the Lord led me to reading this book, Battlefield of the Mind by Joyce Myers, um, the Lord just, it was such a revelation to me. Um, you know, the scripture where this says that you will know the truth and the truth will set you free. And that is exactly how I felt reading this book. It was just the truth of that um, just totally set me free. And she taught us that you can actually control your thoughts because um, we know that our thoughts are directly linked to our attitudes and our emotions. Um, I have some little notes right here. So when I'm looking down, I'm just looking at my notes so I wouldn't forget. Um, uh, what was I going to say? Um, oh, talking about our thoughts, yes. So, you, yes, we can control our thoughts and our feelings. Um, just because we woke up on the wrong side of the bed does not mean we have to be grumpy all day. <laughs> we can actually control our thoughts. And actually the scripture says in second Corinthians 10 chapter five or chapter 10 verse five says, we demolish arguments and every pretension that sets itself up against the knowledge of God. We take captive every thought and make it obedient to Christ. So when we have those negative or unruly intrusive thoughts we we acknowledge it and we take it captive so what is to me what taking it captive means is i recognize the thought i'm like oh you know i should not be having that negative thought i shouldn't be thinking about those things okay well what does god's word say about that and then i speak the truth what god's knowledge what god's word says that's opposite against that thought. Because we know that if we're full of wrong thoughts, that we can be miserable. And November is the month that we usually reflect on being thankful and grateful um, and during the holiday season. But a lot of us, it can be a really hard season for many people. Um, and so so I just wanted to share this this thought of what are you thinking about and taking thought, taking um, inventory of your thoughts? Think about what you're thinking about. If you are struggling with your emotions and thoughts, um, start recognizing, well, what am I thinking about? So we know that the word of God says that we are not to worry about anything, not to be um, anxious about anything, so the word of God tells us not to dwell on the negative, not to dwell on um, the what if, what ifs in life. You know, I don't know, for those who are a little more anxious, we tend to like, oh, what if this happens? What about that or this or that? No, don't 
worry about the future. As we talked about last month in Matthew chapter 6, don't worry about what's going to happen tomorrow because God has it covered. Tomorrow has enough worries about itself. But seek first the kingdom of God, right? So if we concentrate our thoughts on good things, the kind of things that um, Paul mentions in um, Philippians chapter 4, verse 8. So that is our key scripture for today. So let's read that. Philippians 4, verse 8 says, Then rest, brethren, whatever is true, whatever is worthy of reverence and is honorable and seemingly, whatever is just, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely and lovable, whatever is kind and winsome and gracious, and if there's any virtue and excellence, if there is anything praiseworthy, think about, weigh in, and take account of these things. So this is what God tells us that we should concentrate our minds on, the good things, honorable things, things that are above, not about the worries and the stresses of this earth. And so we, I've learned to try to make a practice to take a regular, regular inventory of my thoughts and the way that I think and, if, and what have I been thinking about myself? So I just wanted to encourage you with this today. If you're struggling with your emotions or as you're going into the holiday season, sometimes we can reflect on past things or just really grieve and um, get down. And we know that when we start thinking about um, negative things, we can just really come into this downwards downward spiral and this is this truth and this practice has really helped me get out of that place and that negative place so if you start to feel that way <clears throat> I just encourage you to start thinking well what are you thinking about what have I been thinking about start analyzing your thoughts because we know that our thoughts are very are closely connected and directed to our attitudes in our mindsets and our actions. So it all stems from our thoughts. So what have you been thinking about? And if it is negative, and if it is something that you should not be thinking about or worrying about, now let's look at these things, Philippians 4, 8. What is, what, whatever is lovely, praiseworthy, think about these things. Think about the goodness of God and what God is doing in your life. A very good friend of mine um, often tells me that when the enemy comes against you, you speak the opposite. And usually, so if the enemy is saying, oh, well, you're alone or you're, you're unworthy. Well, no, the opposite of that. What does God's word say? That you are a part of a body of Christ, that he created you, that you are um, loved with an everlasting love. So you speak the opposite of what the enemy is saying to you, and you speak God's word over that. Because we have learned um, over the last many months with Pastor Ron and Pastor Sue that the battle is not against flesh and blood, but, a big, but it is against the rules, rulers and principalities of this world. Get tongue-tied saying that. Um, the battle is in the mind, and we have to have a strategy and we have to go into that knowing that my mind is a battlefield and what am I going to do and have a strategy and have a plan to defeat the enemy. And this is one of the tools that I have learned and used many times throughout the years. So here is my strategy plan to you during this holiday season um, is think about what you are thinking about. Take your thoughts captive and take them to the obedience of Christ. Think about the good things. Think about what is good and lovely and pure and honorable that is praiseworthy. Think about those things. All right, my friends. Well, let me pray over you and then we'll see who's on. Lord Jesus, I thank you so much for this day. I thank you for my friends and my Harvest family who has tuned on and anybody who watches this video I pray, Holy Spirit, that as we go about our days and our weeks, that you remind us to think about what we are thinking about, to use this strategy against the enemy, to defeat the battle that is in our minds, Father. 
We thank you and we love you and we praise you in Jesus' name. Amen. Okay, let me see who is on. Let me see if I can figure this out. Oops, <laughs> sorry. Okay, good morning, Alfredo. Good morning, Catherine, Karen, good morning, Terry, good morning, Ivy and Laura, Dolores, good morning, good morning, Rose, good morning, and Christine, Brother Ron and Marion, good morning. Let's see who else. Vera and Deborah, good morning. Sylvia, good morning. Well, good morning, my friends. I hope you all are having a wonderful start of your day, and I pray that you have a wonderful rest of your day and week, and just knowing that God is good, and we concentrate on the good things. We think we concentrate on the things that are above, not on things of this world. So have a blessed day, and we'll see you later. <laughs> Bye.